let's look at how to do input validation. So for this, I'm going to validate to see whether a number that's input is between one or inclusively from one to 100. So I'm going to first create an integer called num, and then I'm going to create a Boolean value um, valid, and I'll set this equal to false. Okay. So now after I have prompted for it and I've received the number, I want to display the output and just display what I've gotten. So see out my integer is, and then I'll just pass it the num, and it should be a number between 1 and 100. And if I don't get a valid number, I just want to keep prompting for it again and again. So I'll do that with a do while statement. So do, and then I have to end it with a while condition. And my while condition is going to be while not valid, I'll just keep looping. And so right now at this point, it's just going to be an infinite looping thing. All right. So inside of here, I want to now prompt for a value. So prompt for a value for a number. Then I want to test my integer, see if it's value or test my value. And then if it's good, then I can set it to valid. All right, so how do I prompt for it? So first of all, I prompt for it with a, well, a, C in a C out statement. So I do STD, C out, and I want to prompt for it, say, enter an integer from 1 to 100. All right. Then I can end that. And then I'm going to read that value into my num. So I'll do cn into num. All right, so now it's read in. I prompted for it, now I need to test to see if it's valid. So what are the tests I need to do? Well, first of all, I need to see, is that number actually an integer? So I type in the word apple, is it an integer? No, it's not, and it won't put anything in there, and it won't be a value of zero or negative, or it won't be anything. So I will go ahead and test it and say, if cn dot, so standard, cn dot fail, so if it fails, then I am basically done. So if it doesn't fail, if it's not failing, then I can actually check to see if it's valid. So valid integer do l statement this would be invalid integer at this point i can just print out an error message if it's invalid All right so the invalid statement would be std c out that is not an integer. Okay. And then I can go ahead and and L. And at this point, if it's not a valid integer, I want to clear it out and get rid of it. So I can do um, SC, CN dot clear. We'll uh, remove all the flags. We got to get rid of the flags. And then I can do std cn, and I want to ignore everything else that's on the line. And I want to ignore it for the max number of characters possible. And so I pass it an integer number, and this integer number would be int max. 
and then I want to either read till I get to int max or until I get to a new line. So a slash n. There we go. That will read in until we get to it, and we've got cleared out that integer, and we're good. But what if it is a valid integer? Then I have to figure out is it in range. So if num is greater than or equal to one, and num is less than or equal to 100, then it's going to be a valid integer. So at this point, we can set it to valid equal to true. Otherwise, it's not a valid integer. I mean, it's an integer, but it's not a valid in the valid range. So we can then print out a statement that says, See out integer is out of range. Uh, all right. So that's like a lot of text. Just to check to see if you have a valid integer. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. So go ahead and run. So first it prompts for integer. So I type in apple and it says that is not an integer. So I type in goat, that is not an integer. So I type in zero, it says integer is out of range. I type in negative 50, integer is out of range. I type in 150, integer is out of range. I type in um, 50, normal 50. And it says my integer is 50. So it was able to validate that my integer was a valid integer. So all this code right here, all that, just to make sure that my integer that I entered in is a valid integer. And you can do that and validate other things as well. Just make sure you test, go prompt for it, and then test to see if it's valid in some way. You can't check strings and other things as well because if you test a string or a character if you type in the number one for example that is a valid string and that is a valid character so just keep that in mind um strings and characters pretty easy to just know that you got it right but then you can just check to see if it's the right type there you go hope that helps